Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to read from a file. So in the last couple of tutorials, you know, we have learned what is a file and also, you know, how to write some contents to the file. So here we're going to read from the file. So here in this tutorial, we are only going to read from the file. And that's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object of the IEF stream class and let's say file you know you guys can give any name and also here i can pass it as a constructor parameter or you know i can use the open meta so we're going to use the open meta so it's going to be file dot open and then we need to pass the file name that we want to open so here we're just going to say anil.txt and if you guys want to pass the path here you guys can do that and if you want to specify any file opening modes you guys can do that or we guys can leave it blank you know if you leave it blank you know at that time what happens is you know the c++ is gonna use the default file opening mode which is the in mode because you know this file is an object of the input file stream class all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna check whether the file has opened successfully or not so i'm gonna use if and it's gonna be file dot is open and we're gonna use a not symbol and we're gonna say if the file has not opened successfully we're gonna use c out and uh, we're gonna say error while opening the file all right let's add the semicolon here else if the file is opened successfully then what we want to do is we want to read from the file so here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose what we're gonna do is we're gonna read a line from the file so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a, a string variable and let's call it as line and then to read a line from a stream we're gonna use the get line function and it's gonna be get line and then as a parameter first we need to pass from where we want to read or from which stream we want to read we want to read from this file and then add the comma and where you want to store the readed line we want to store that in this line string variable so it's gonna be line and then add the semicolon and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna print out that using the c out so it's gonna be c out and line as yes, and this line and here in this else part we're just gonna print out a message reading from the file contents are and then let's end this line all right now i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna open up the folder you know where we have saved this project you know here in this folder reading from a file and i'm gonna build and run this and it says error while opening the file that's because the folder where our project is there there is no file called anil.txt and that's why we get error while opening the file so here what we can do is we can create a file in this folder i'm gonna right click here go to new and then the text document and here let's say anil and it's gonna be a text document i just gonna open it and i just gonna write a line let's say this is from the file and uh, let's save it and then close it all right now in our program you're gonna build and run it again and now you guys can see the reading from the file contains r this is from the file so here in this folder where our project is saved we have a file called anil and that's why you know our program has successfully opened that file and read the content you know which is um, this is from the file all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is what if there are multiple lines in the file that we want to read at that time we can use a while loop here so i'm gonna use while and uh, you know we're gonna read and display that inside this while body and here we're gonna check whether we have reached the end of the file or not so we can check that by using the file dot good all right this good is a 
method available from this class you know which allows us to check whether whether any flag such as the good bit or the evof bit or the fail bit or the bad bit is set or not if any flag is set then this good is going to return false and that's why this while loop is going to fail till there is contents in this file you know we can uh, get that line by line so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up the folder and open up this file and we're going to add uh, multiple lines and let's say learning lad rocks and we have more than 200 videos all right now we have multiple lines and i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna close it and i'm gonna run my program now and now it says reading from the file contains our learning ladder rocks and we have more than 200 videos all right so this is how you guys can read a line from a file in c plus thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial